Hey, in this video, we're going to get ourselves familiar with Toolgen and explore different aspects of the application builder. So the moment you create a new application by signing in or signing up, this is where you'll be landing in. So the first thing you see here is a huge canvas. This is the place where you'll be building the UI or the front end of your application with the help of the components from the components manager in the right side. Yes, as you see in the right side, this is the component manager. This will help you to browse through all the components that you can drag and drop into the canvas. So the moment you drop a component into the canvas, you see the component manager change it to properties and styles tab of this selected component. And then you see the component has an ID to it, but you can also edit it from the manager. So this properties will help you to define the functionality of the component and the styles will help you to set the, set the views of the components as needed. So to get back to the list of components again, you can press on escape or click outside of this component. There you go. You can now use all of these components and drag and drop it to the canvas. So this is all about the components manager and then the canvas. Coming on to the left side, you have the left sidebar here with pages where you should be able to create different pages and browse through them and manage them accordingly from here. You also have an option to search different pages and also pin the pages bar so that you can build the application easily. And there is also another option to disable the entire pages menu if it is not needed. So as you move on to the next one, we have the inspector here. So the inspector helps you with the complete overview of the application from queries, components, global variable values and page details and all of that. You should be able to trace the data as well and also look at uh, the complete information of different aspects of the application that you're building. Moving on to the next option, you have add or edit data source here. With this option, you should be able to get onto the gallery of all the data sources that are currently supported with Toolgen. These are wide range of databases, APIs, and cloud storages that you can connect and start performing operations from the query panel. So for example, you can click on MongoDB and set your connection. And once you save it, you should be able to look that, uh, start using it from the query panel right from here. Before I come to the query panel, there is another interesting thing in the left sidebar is the debugger. So the debugger is a complete single source of truth for all of your errors, right from your components to queries or from the data sources that are connected. So this will help you to debug through the entire application and build as you move on. There are a couple of other cool features here uh, to actually start communicating with us for any of your queries with the stat feature. And then the dark mode, which will bring you the darker version of the tool jet. And you can get back to the light mode by clicking on it again. And now coming on to the query panel, this is the place where you'll be able to create queries with the data sources that you have connected. If you remember, we created the dummy MongoDB data source while we are exploring the data source part. So now to create a new query, you should be selecting a data source. For now, it's MongoDB. Once you click on that, you should be able to see a certain number of options here. You can select anything that is needed and then set all the attributes as needed. On top of all of this, Toolgen enables you to transform the query data response by turning on the enable transformations toggle. You should be able to see a code editor with a dropdown of languages. It can be JavaScript or Python for now. And once you select the language, you can able to transform the query response and return as required. As you move on, uh, you can also set the query properties, whether to run the query on application load or to make a confirmation before running the query or even to show a notification on success. And along with that, you can also set some even handlers on queries, whether to perform some queries or run some actions on query success and also on query failure. And once you're done all of this, you can also make a preview and then save it if everything looks good and run it whenever it is needed. So then here we are uh, with the canvas, components manager and the query panel and the left sidebar. And there's an interesting thing in the top side, starting with renaming your application. And then there is an option to start building the mobile version of your application from here. And then to redo, undo, sorry, undo and redo. And then as you move on, you have option to version control your application uh, where you can create new version from your current version or from the previous versions of your application. And then the next thing is managing the environments where you can build your applications from development to staging and then to production. There you go. 
On top of all of this, as Toojet allows you to work collaboratively with your teams, the comment or the toggle comments option will enable you to comment on specific parts of your application and work accordingly. You can toggle this off by clicking on it again and then coming on to the top right of the application builder, you have the option to release this version. So the release functions along with the versions of your app. The moment you create a new version, you should be releasing it again. And then the I button here, which will help you to preview the application before releasing or even after it so that you can test it accordingly and then the share button here will help you to share this application with modified version of the url as needed and also to make the application scope more public by toggling this on there you go there you go this is a complete high level overview of the application builder but as we move on we'll be diving deep into each of this thank you